So this image proves that the Earth is not flat and that satellites do exist. Um, so this is an image posted to Instagram on the 6th of January uh, 2017 and it was taken from a Virgin flight, a flight uh, VA714, which was going from Perth to Adelaide on that day, on the 6th of January 2017. And you'd have to agree that, um, that this image so shows some pretty distinctive looking clouds. Um, and now I'm going, to I'm going to show you another picture, which is an aerial view, and it's a picture, that's, a picture that was also taken on the 6th of January 2016. Oh, sorry, 2017. So, um, and it's this picture here. And it also shows quite distinctive clouds. And I just want to point out in particular, it, show, it shows this curly bit here. And uh, this curly bit of cloud here would appear to match this curly bit uh, on the on the foot on the image taken from the Virgin flight, um, and in fact you can process this image and add a perspective uh, transformation effect, and if you do that uh, you get this image, and if you compare the two you can pretty easily see that they are both images of the same cloud formation. Um, now. The second photo is a section taken from this image. And uh, yeah, this image is a 121 megapixel image taken from a satellite. Um, and you can actually download this image yourself from, uh, from this link. And uh, yeah, the satellite that, uh, that took this image takes one image like this every 10 minutes. So um, you could confirm that this uh, image exists um, now you can, you can actually get any image uh, back to the 7th of July 2015 from this link. So any once every 10 minutes going back to uh, the 7th of July 2015. Now if you want further proof that this image is of the same cloud seen from the Virgin flight, well we can look at the flight path of the VA714 flight on that day using a website called flightradar24.com um, and uh, yeah, the link I'll put in the, um, the description. Um, now the cartoon plane on this image uh, is at the location shown in this plot at uh, 135 UTC um, and then it drops off the radar again to be picked up at the end of the dotted line at 2.15 UTC. Now, if we lay this track on the satellite data, we can see that right around 2 o'clock UTC, uh, the time the sat image was taken, we would have the VA714 flying right by the location of this kinked cloud identified earlier. And, uh, and it will also be appearing on the right-hand side of the plane as we actually see in the Snapchat image. So um, this is actually ironclad proof that this satellite image is an image representing the reality of on the surface of the planet. Um, there can't be a team of CGI artists beavering away creating these highly detailed images and extremely accurate images. I'll just prove this image is extremely accurate. It matches uh, the reality seen on the Earth's surface, taken by someone completely independent. Um, how would the artists, if they were doing this CGI, how would they know what the clouds look like over the entire hemisphere um, that the satellite image covers? Um, and especially out to sea, how could they know what the clouds look like out to sea? This photo of these uh, strange looking clouds was taken uh, way out in the ocean. So, uh, the images appear for download on the website in under 30 minutes of them being taken, if you, if you look at it. So 30 minutes after the satellite takes them, they are available for download on the, uh, on the, on the website. And yeah, every 10 minutes, there's a new 120 megapixel image. So there is no way this can be a computer generated image. There's no CGI artists painting these, uh, these cloud images, but, Maybe you're going to try and tell me that these are actually taken from a high altitude balloon or a high altitude aircraft. So let's see if this could be possible at all. 
So this image has a very wild, this image has a very wide field of view. Its field of view is the diameter of the planet, which is uh, 6,379 kilometers or 3,963 miles. Now, a camera can only take pictures within a certain angular field of view. And uh, most cameras, kind of the maximum angle would be around 60 degrees field of view. So we can actually use that figure and some trigonometry. We can estimate that a camera would need to be about 4,600 uh, kilometers high to uh, be able to take uh, an image of the full disk of the Earth if there's a 60 degree field of view in the camera. It's just basic trigonometry. But um, if you look at balloons and aircraft, you can see that this is nowhere near, uh, this, this is far greater uh, height than, uh, than the maximum that a balloon or an aircraft can go. Um, the record height for a balloon is about 53 kilometers, and the record height for a fixed wing aircraft is about 112 kilometers high. So these images cannot be taken by a balloon or an aircraft. And the, the reasons why they can't go, those th things can't go that high is to due to physics. There's not enough atmosphere in that, in that high for the, uh, for the aircraft to fly, and there's not enough buoyancy as the, as the atmosphere gets thinner and thinner. There's not enough buoyancy for a balloon to float uh, in, the, uh, in the atmosphere at any height uh, greater than sort of like 53 kilometers. So these images cannot be taken with a balloon or an aircraft, at least not in one uh, shot like you see there. Now, you might argue, oh, they've been taken by balloons that are crisscrossing the whole hemisphere, capturing and, uh, and capturing the data. Well, that's impossible too, because you know they need to uh, cover the entire hemisphere once every 10 minutes, and uh, you have to merge them all into one seamless image, as you can see here and it would take a massive fleet of aircraft to do this. Um, and if you're trying to do balloons, well, that's not gonna work either. High altitude balloons, you can't direct where they go. They go where the wind blows, and so you cannot get them to function in this way. So, no, this is a real image taken from a real satellite showing a spherical Earth. Um, just look at this image, how awesome is it? This is a photograph taken from 36,000 kilometers away, and you can make out a seven kilometer wide cloud. It's awesome. Case closed, flatards.